There's a there, there's common knowledge in show business of penis information. There's a, I, know, I know somebody doing a documentary right now comparing the penis of this person to that person, famous people. In 1994, the movie Forrest Gump captured America's heart and imagination. In 1997, a new documentary about Hollywood's original Forrest, Forrest Tucker, will have America in a Forrest frenzy all over again. Investigative reporters get today's hottest stars to reveal, for the first time ever, one of Hollywood's best kept secrets about the man best known for his role as the gruff but lovable, Sergeant O'Rourke on TV's F Troop. Well, how does it go, Captain? Uh, a secret so big that Tinseltown is still buzzing about it 10 years after Tucker's untimely death. You know, Forrest Tucker was a big flirt. I'm Forrest Tucker. Did you hear the rumor? No, what was the rumor? Um, how do I put this politely? Um, Forrest Tucker was very, um, help me here, help me here. Well built. I'm Forrest Tucker. No, more than that. Well endowed. I'm Forrest Tucker. Forrest Tucker, as everyone in the universe knows, had one of the biggest schmeckies on the face of the earth. Forrest Tucker was in the dressing room. There were a couple of visiting young women, you know, from uh, Michigan. Look at Janie, they're all decked out in a new ball gown. And he was in the dressing room and somebody brought it up, not those young women, because they were embarrassed. And, and, uh, and he said, well, somebody said, well, why don't you uh, describe it? He said, I can do better than that. And he stood up and he dropped his drawers. I'm Forrest Tucker. Oh, you saw it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good, man. Very good. Forrest Tucker. What about him? Did you ever meet him? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you ever hear the other rumor about it? Uh, yes, him, his competition with Milton Berle. Yes. But it ill behooves me. Bullshit! <laughs> and also ill behooved Herbert Hoover, which is another matter <laughs> altogether. It's not such a little thing either. <laughs> Did you hear that rumor about him? That rumor about him? Yeah. Having to do with... I don't want to say, but I think you know, unless you want to say. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's uh, Milton Berle has the same image. I know. Why not ask why so? I understand that there was a contest one time and somebody right. said to Milton, Milton, just take out enough to win. That's the way it works with me. I let it out. Don't hold it in. No, yes. where was this contest? Huh? Where was, where was contest? it held? Yeah. Oh, I, probably the Friars Club. Held, that was the wrong word to use for that. <laughs> The Friars Club, really? Oh, wow. probably. I'm just guessing, but uh, where else would you hold it? You're not going to hold it at Denny's. All right, all right, good. Let's go. Wait, wait a minute. Anyone know where I put my hat? Forrest Tucker. Forrest Tucker. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Don't say it. Oh, please, please. let us say it. Okay. We heard a rumor about Forrest Tucker. The myth about Forrest Tucker. Yeah, tell us about your hose. Please tell us what you know. <laughs> I knew his dresser. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? And she said what? He said. Oh, he. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He said that he was very hard to fit. Coming soon, the longest documentary short you'll ever see. The Legend of Forrest Tucker. Fucking A, baby. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs>